buddy Aaron here. Welcome back to another anime review. Clockwork Planet episode 4. Or usually, why would you do something like that, like that to me? Come on. Come on. You killed yourself on screen because you're so confident in Naoto to save you. Because, you know, oh, the answers to everything were inside of her. I was like, no. But luckily, Naoto saved her. It's all good. And if you haven't seen the episode, obviously, you know, why you watch my review first? Go watch, go watch that. Come back here. You know, I'm not going anywhere. Relax. But... The whole fact of that whole scene was really just to me. It was like, no, why would you do that? It's terrible. Um, but as we know from last week, you know, Nato was kind of helped or was asked to help the group because, you know, apparently his ability to hear everything really helps the mechanics. And, you know, it would help this whole situation. It helped that one girl. I keep forgetting her name. The the girl with um, the blonde pigtails. But, or blonde twin tails. Twin drill tails, actually, as they're called in Japan. But... It was a very simple episode for the most part up to that part. It was just more so when we started getting into the more nitty gritty stuff and them realizing that they are running out of time. They have to kind of hurry the pace up to prevent annihilation of their whole area. That's where things got a little hectic. But, you know, I feel like in many ways the show is kind of doing something very odd in pacing. Like, it goes from being very mellow in pacing to very ramped up. And I don't think that's a bad thing per se, but I really do think that also is an issue once in the blue moon. Because even with this episode, like the, I could just said, with the, how the, it paced out, you know, the first 12 minutes were kind of more articulated to a, a very simple story of, of Naoto fixing and helping out with everything. And, you know, even Rizuzu helping out with stuff. But then it went into this whole chaotic moment of like, oh, we can't forget that there's a bigger threat at, at, at hand right now. We need help with that. I was like, you know, is that was there before, right? So why is it that now that's becoming relevant again? Uh, okay. But still, great episode. Not very much to say beyond the big impactful moments. You know, we look like we're probably going to have some conclusion to, I think, this little segment of stuff soon. I, I don't know if they're going to keep doing this for the whole series. I don't think they're going to focus on this kind of destruction arc for the whole series. It's definitely going to have some other stuff eventually in it, which I'm happy about. But I would love to know, what are you guys' thoughts about this? By the way, I do apologize. It is 10.31 at night when I'm recording this, and I feel bad it took me this long to get to you. I've been really busy today. Obviously, I was out hanging my dad. I told many of you that, you know, this week would be kind of off with reviews and timing-wise. Uh, same might be apply, ap applicable to Saturday, actually. I might have a lot of missed videos, and if that does happen, I do apologize in advance, but we'll have to figure out what I'm going to do about that. They might have to come out, like, Monday, and I hate doing that, but... It looks like that's a big possibility because I do have some stuff I have to do. Um, I have to go take my mom to a, a medical thing that she has to do with her teeth and stuff like that. So I do have I do have some other responsibilities. But hopefully you guys understand. As always, I do appreciate what you do understand that. Anyways, guys and girls, as always, please leave some comments below. Tell me what you thought about the episode. As always, if you like the content, you know what to do. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great, blessed night, everyone. Bye-bye.